Uh, this is me, James, and for another video, and uh, here's my my afterthoughts of playing Chrono Trigger. Um, I first would like to say I was trying to do like an official review, like um, all the other video game channels, but uh, it just didn't feel right to me. So I'm just going to say what I liked about the game. Um, for those who know don't know what Chrono Trigger is, Chrono Trigger is an RPG. Uh, that was first released on the Super Nintendo in 1995. Um, it's on the Nintendo DS, uh, the first PlayStation, and uh, the uh, iPod and Android. Uh, and like, it uh, you follow a group of uh, young adventurers who. Travel time, travel throughout time to prevent a global catastrophe from a creature called Lavos. L A V O S. Um, you play at the the characters are Chrono, Chrono, Marley, Luca, Robo, Frog, Magus, and Idea. Those are all the uh, six or seven main characters. I'm not sure. Um, first, uh, Chrono. Chrono is like the main character of those is he has no lines in the game at all. Um uh, so let's talk about the story. The story I like the story very much and it's very rare that I even play RPGs. Well this only the only reason why I play RPGs is for the story. And this one is very good. Um it has multiple endings, so I might do it I might play do it again. And, but the story, uh, as all I can say is that it's very good, and I recommend people, um, uh, playing it because of the story. The story, it's um, it's very interesting. Um, uh, it get it drew me in. Excuse me, I just had a soda. Uh, uh it drew me in. The characters are likable, whether they're good or bad, or major or minor, or integral to the um whole story. Uh there's some funny stuff that happened in I laughed a couple of times, which I didn't expect in RPG. Um that's about it. Oh and uh time, which is a major part of this whole thing, is used very well in the story and in the gameplay. Um whatever you and for the story, whatever you do, um in one time period affects the time period before for example, when you save the world from Lavos, uh, you affect the future, which one of the characters is from. The, one of those characters is Robo, who's basically a robot from the future. And um, it affects his future, like I said. Um, so he may or may not exist. I'm not sure. Um, it's depending on how you play the game. It could be a different ending, I'm not sure, because I haven't done that ending yet. Um uh the gameplay um so the gameplay is just it's just like a basic rpg you bump into an enemy you fight it with your um your party members and you can only have uh, you only have four party members uh um so you have a command bar you have to take turns each party member has to take turns and uh you have an attack command um tech command which is basically magic and items command um you can customize your um characters with certain weapons like chrono he he needs katanas uh marley she needs crossbows uh robo needs some like some type of arms um that's about it uh, also time when i said time it um, plays a part in the gameplay as well i mean in the items uh there are there will be chests in the game where you'll be able to, uh, like, you have the choice to either open it or wait a few hundred years to open it. And that way, if you wait, you get more powerful armor. And I thought that was a pretty cool um, feature to the game. Um, so I played this on uh, Emulator. And that's what uh, the hardest part about playing the game was um the email I did this on a phone, so it was kind of hard for me to um play it uh, I did have some problems um selecting commands and things like that but 
Um, that's what I get for playing the emulator. Um, also, another thing I didn't like was the increasingly, increasingly hard bosses. They were hard, I'm not going to lie. But I didn't mind that too much because because uh, uh, I had to like take my time. Because usually when I play RPG, I just hit the attack button or use my strongest magic. But I actually had to think about it. Like, um... I'm not going to tell you because I probably won't spoil it. But anyways, I really had to strategize on how to beat bosses. And that's like a first for me. And so, if this game could do that to me, it could probably do it to anybody. And this, and today, people are just like playing Call of Duty. who are just rushing and do stuff and something like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you guys should definitely buy it or get the emulator. It's worth the time it took me quite a while to do it because of school but uh it, this game is amazing uh you guys should definitely play it. um so anyways um if you like this little review so tell me i guess uh, yeah, you can yeah, tell me yeah, yeah. i'm sorry if i if this is seem very unprofessional to you guys but you know i'm not a professional professional reviewer so yellow <laughs> not yellow um but anyways um i have some more stuff to talk about later and some other videos so expect some more videos starting videos um is this your first time watching my videos go check out my drawing videos on my channel you may or may not like them and also if you have any requests that you want me to draw